Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jonathan, good to be back. And what I'm going to cover today and quickly is Swift Loops. Um, what are Swift Loops? What do they do? Where can I find them? How do I use this tool? Um, I've seen people, or I've, I've had some people ask me questions as they watch me model and different things and create, where they say, what, what is this option? What is this tool? How are you able to quickly create these edges and, um, uh, and quickly add topology to your model? So what we do is we actually have to go to the customized user interface. I'm gonna drop down here. And we have to set it up as a hotkey. There's really no other way to get to it um, as far as my knowledge on it. So we have to establish it as a hotkey, which is kind of a bummer because it's it's a very intuitive tool. And you know I know that's why people a lot of times struggle in Max is that it's not intuitive enough, but this tool is uh, beautiful. I mean, I use it, it's, you have to use it. There's no like, should I use it? I mean, you have to. You, you learn to work smarter and it's all about efficiency, saving time. So what we do is we have to go down and find Swift Loop and assign a hotkey. Mine's Alt-A, it seems Alt-A is the go-to for a lot of people, um, but make it your own. You know, whatever's, whatever was familiar to you, whatever you wanna do. So we find it, we hit Alt-A and we assign it. And um, what you can do, and I'll cover this another time, is you can save your key keyboard shortcuts out, your mouse short, your mouse setup, etc. But we're not going to go over that. So what we did is we just assigned, we just assigned Swift Loop. So now we have a crazy new tool, and what we can do with this is actually create quick loops. So we can add quick topology to our model without a whole lot of effort. So this is perfect for like hard surface, mo I wouldn't even say perfect, it's essential really is the word, um, for hard surface modeling, I mean, you have to use it. Otherwise, I mean, if I didn't if I didn't have that tool, I mean, you would have to like, you know, group select edges and you'd have to go to the connect option and okay, I want two edges and you'd have to move the edges and, and I still use this connect dialog at times, but this is, uh, you know, super slow if you're, if you're modeling on the fly and, and doing things quick. Um, or Swift Loops is, is, is great. Absolutely love it. So now if we want to subdivide, now we have a quickly subdivided box. Now we're getting that nice hard edge uh, smoothness on this box. Um, really cool. But uh, that's it guys. I mean, very straightforward. I don't want to take a whole lot of time. I mean, I could bring up a com complex model and kind of show you what it can do, but um, play, play with it yourself. Um, it's an absolutely critical mo uh, modeling tool. And I didn't know about it for a while when I was younger in this in this stuff. So I'm hoping you're getting getting it now. I hope you came across this video and just getting the word out. I mean, a lot of times even some advanced users don't know what Swift Loops are. So very cool tool, and we love to rhyme. And we'll end with that, man. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.